Welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. Super glad you're here today, and speaking of today, a happy Thanksgiving to all of you. I hope you're having a wonderful turkey day today. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Are you grilling? Are you chilling? Are you doing something thrilling? If you are, let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear what you're doing for Thanksgiving today. Just because I'm not doing anything exciting doesn't mean you're not doing something exciting. But you're not here to hear me talk. You're here to see me rock some zombie block. So let's do that right away here. I have unlocked a lot more players since I played yesterday and did my review yesterday. If you haven't checked out my review, please do. Everything I say today is rhyming, and no, I don't have a script and none of this is planned. So one of my favorites from yesterday was a Sergeant Fury. Sergeant Fury has a tank. Who else did I have yesterday? Oh, how can we forget the sweet, sweet action of my favorite minigun guy? Actually, it was Minigun Grandma. I I can't tell if this is supposed to be a grandma, a grandpa, but I like the idea that this is a Grandma Buzzkill. Yes, this is Grandma Buzzkill with her minigun. Alright, so I did unlock some more. Here's what I've got unlocked now for us to check out. I've got the electric guitar, of course the minigun, and I've got the A-10 Warthog. Oh yes, the dragon. Guys, I unlocked the unicorn, and I've got the flamethrower, which I really like a lot, and what else do we... I've got the bio gun with Professor White. I've got Cyclops, because Edex is really just Cyclops. He's got his little uh, laser beam. And is that about it? I think that's about it. So let's just, let's try out one of these ones. Let's go with Cyclops. He needs some loving. And let's just go into timed mode. Now, I have been trying to beat timed mode, and I have not succeeded at all. It is actually really challenging. Time mode, especially when you walk in between two helicopters whose blades are spinning up. Let's give that one more try, shall we? Because that was about as pitiful as you could get. Watch me get hit by a train, like, immediately. Now these blades here, I've tried to make my way through, and this section is pretty tough. It's pretty hard on the poor zombies, too. They don't, uh, they don't do so good with the blades. Oh, and I don't do so good with the blades, neither. Neither, either, or. Okay, well, uh, let's just hope the third time is indeed the charm. Alright, so in the time mode, you have 180 seconds that you're trying to survive, and it ramps up the speed of the zombies every, oh, I'd say 10 to 15 seconds. Probably 15 seconds. And they get going pretty quick. Now, one thing that I did discover is, is that you speed up as well, which is nice, because you would not be able to outrun the zombies if you, didn't be, if you were not speeding up as well. Here comes a big rock. I have not seen any of my power-ups yet, which is really disappointing. One of the things I did discover that works really well, yes, I'm a sucker for gems, I'm going for it, is to kite the zombies around the big environmental hazards. So what we're going to do here is... How have I not gotten my special ability yet? hi yay yay come on. Look at that crowd of zombies. Don't fail me now, Cyclops. Give me your sweet, sweet laser power. Speeding up. Oh, come on. Seriously. Where's your ability? Well, no, we're not going for the gem. We can't do it. We're going through the... We're, we're going through the plants. Oh, this is bad. They're really speeding up now. And speeding up even more. Oh, there's my laser. 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 Laser! We're taking out as many as we can. We don't got time for you, boss. Alright. Stay away from the bomb bomb there. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. 75 seconds. The best I've done thus far is 60 seconds. Are we gonna see a new record for me? It just may be. Oh, snap! I don't... It's getting... It's getting kind of hectic. Speeding up. Well, we got a gem. That's nice, at least. Let's kite the zombies through the, uh, the lava fields here. 
Oops. The boulder. Worst timing ever for a boulder. I did better that run, though, than I've done in other runs, so that's good. So I'll tell you what, you saw Cyclops and his ability. Let's go take a look at some of the other ones. Select player. The bio gun's okay. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Some of these power-ups are eh. And surprisingly, one of the most disappointing ones is actually the A-10 Warthog. And that is because you can't control it very well. And that actually leads me into a point. This is not a review video. This is just a more for fun video. But I've actually been playing this a fair bit since the review yesterday. And one of my critiques of the game is this. I want to see proper twin stick shooting. I'm using a controller right now. It does control better with the controller. And this game really needs a second stick for aiming your weapons when you're, when you're firing. I would like to see a better soundtrack for just when you're running around. Yes, when you get like a special ability, you start really jamming out, and that's really cool, and I like that, but most of the time, the music is just a repetitive little da 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 and that gets oh so old, oh so fast. Dagnabbit, we can't get to the... the barbecuer. Oh well. Um... So, yeah, I would like to see proper twin stick controls. I would like to see some better music. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're going to... Oh, come on! Ah, I can't get to it again. This is the problem with time mode, though. Time mode, I mean, it is hectic. It, it just... It goes 0 to 50 like that. It's quick. So... I knew what I was getting into when I signed up for this job. We're getting lots of gems. All right, we're going for it. We're going for it. We got it. We got the flamethrower. We're bringing that sweet, sweet zombie barbecue in action. Giving us some proper satisfaction. Get away from me, boss. We can't handle the heat. All right. Very groovy. So, uh, there was one other thing, too, that I thought of. I want twin stick controls. I definitely think that this game would benefit. I mean, this is a game that you could really add some more stuff to. Oh, uh, that's it. Nope, no, we survived. Survive. Round two of barbecue. Here we go. Get away. Get away, boss. You don't want none of this. You don't want none of this. You can't handle this. Oh, he could handle it, and there's some of him left. Uh-oh. Did it crash? Oh, it seems like it crashed. Did it really? I was doing so good, too. Bruh. Are you serious? Alright, guys, I'm sorry. Hold on one second, and I will be right back. Not had any crashes thus far, but... So unfortunately, I had my first uh, game crash with this title. And that's really disappointing because I was actually doing my best run yet. I only had 48 seconds left, which just sounds like, you know, not a lot, but I'm sure I would have died before that 48 seconds was up. So you got to see the flamethrower, and I love the flamethrower. But actually, I think my new favorite is the freaking unicorn. I know. Let's go back into time mode. I am... It is my destiny to beat timed mode. And guys, I want to throw down the gauntlet to all of Whoa! I do not want to catch that train. I want to throw down the gauntlet to all of you. Now, as I said yesterday, you have the opportunity to win this title. There's a couple people that have commented on the review already, putting them in the running for winning the game in about a week from now when I do my next win a game review. And I will again post in the top of the uh, the comment section who the winner was. And come on, come on. There we go. So guys, I want to throw down the gauntlet to all of you. Oh, hold on! Before there's any gauntlet throwing, nope, I can't get to it. Yes, I can. Don't disappear. Don't disappear. No, don't disappear. No, 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 no. Oh, and it killed me. You know what? I'm bringing the vengeance. I'm bringing the fury. I'm getting big and stomping me some zombies. Oh, 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 there's my unicorn. What up, though? 
Oh, you can't handle my unicorn. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I love that. That unicorn is so freaking amazing. Whoa. Give me the gem. And guys, at this point, I want to throw down the gauntlet to all of you. I want to see somebody beat timed mode. So all I'm asking you to do, if you've got the ability to record yourself playing this game and beating timed mode, make a video. In the video, just say who you are, that you're accepting the challenge, and that you're going to play and beat timed mode, and then have a video with no cuts in it of you beating timed mode. Once you do that, just put a link in the comment section below to that video. The first person to post that video, I will give you a game from my Steam inventory. I've got a bunch of duplicates and keys in my Steam library, and I don't even know what I've got, but I will find a game and I will gift it to you. And no, it will not be some trash game. It'll be a decent game that I like to play. So that's what I'm asking you to do. Go ahead and make that video if you can. Just say your name, that you're accepting the challenge, and then you beating time modes with no cuts in it, and I will gift that first person a game on Steam. So if you think you could do it, by all means be my guest. Show me that I am a lesser player than you and beat that timed mode because I've been trying to and I've not had that much luck thus far. I think the best I've done so far is to get within 40 seconds of beating it. So let's take a look at one more here. I'm gonna show you guys... I'll do two really quick. Electric guitar. I'm gonna upgrade it too because it's a little on the uh, it's a little on the weak side. It's not that it's weak, it's that you're you're immobile when it goes off. And actually, I would love to see you be able to combine some of these abilities. How awesome would it be to be riding on the back of a freaking dragon that's breathing fire while playing an electric guitar? Or better yet, being in the A-10 Warthog and being able to use a minigun. I guess the A-10 Warthog already has a minigun. Oh, So close, yet so very far. Let's do it again. I love this stage. The airport is so much fun when you do not run through the uh, helicopter blade rotors. I keep doing that too. I think I can make it between there. The good news is the zombies can't make it either. Oh, I'm getting me a gem. Meet me. There it is. No, no, no. Move, oil tanker. Oh, we are rocking out. But you can't move. That's the thing. Now that is what I call a mosh pit. Those zombies are going to town. And there is the problem right there. As soon as the music's done, a lot of times, you're totally surrounded by zombies. And uh, it just... It's a cool thing, but it doesn't really... It's not very effectual. trying to think, man, I had one more thing that I've been noticing in this title that I wanted to see done differently. I'd spoken yesterday about the fact that I didn't like stuff being time-gated uh, as far as the daily missions, you know, but that's really just a nitpick because it doesn't actually affect the gameplay negatively at all. Um, and there's plenty, it's not like your ability to, oh yeah, it's not like your ability to earn coins or gems is limited only to that daily mode. So. I mean, really, I probably shouldn't be complaining that much about it, but it is what it is. There we go. I want me that gem. Give it. Give it up. Give it up. We still have 84 seconds left. This mode is so challenging. Then again, as you continue to level up your characters and give them more and more and more uh, boosts to... Oh, nope, can't get it. That's the other... Maybe that was the other thing. I don't think it was, though. Um, sometimes the perspective, like, when stuff drops, it's like, oh, I can get it, I can, I can get it, and then, no, you sure can't. You thought you could. No! Oh, man, talk about catching a flight. Oh, oh well. Okay, here we go. We're headed back home. i will show you guys one last one. One last one, that's it. Then I gotta go. Endless, timed. Um, select player. There we go. I think I'm got to go this way. Um, so we've got the. We'll do the dragon. We're gonna do the dragon. The dragon and the A10 warthog are one and the same. They're identical. Dragon looks a little cooler though. I'm gonna upgrade the dragon. 
Um, and the thing with these is they look awesome, but again, they're not very good in that you can't control... Um, well, you'll see. It's better to show you. It's hard to explain because you can control the dragon and you can control the A-10, but then again, you kind of can't and you can't aim them very well. This is like my least favorite stage. And I still like it. Okay, so you get the dragon, and all you can kind of do is aim. But if there's a creature that gets, or a zombie, I mean, that gets underneath of you, you can't really hit it. It's still awesome, don't get me wrong. I mean, you're riding a freaking dragon. But again, it's also very disorienting when you come out of that mode, and it kind of drops you, not totally randomly, but you can't control exactly where it drops you. So... I don't think I can get to it. Nope. Not only can I not get to it, but... Oh well, that's fine. Let's grab another gem here. Oh, that's too bad. Yep, I got caught in that little uh, leaper zombie's path. Well, guys, I think that's pretty much going to do it for this episode of The Electric Productions. Again, I've laid down the gauntlet to you guys. If you got access to this title, make that video and upload it if you would. I want to see somebody beat this stinking timed mode because I can't seem to do it. And, uh, yeah, make sure to stay tuned next week when I do the next Win a Game title uh, with attached to whatever review for whatever game I do so that you can find out if you won this title. Again, all you had to do was comment in the review I did for this game. That's it. So go to that review if you haven't watched it yet. Watch that video, give it a like, comment in the comment section below, and uh, yeah, maybe hit subscribe so you know next week when I upload the next Win a Game title and see if you won this title. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I always enjoy having you guys on Electric Productions. And until next time, a game on, everybody. Bye-bye, and happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving.